Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of The City Beneath, and last time I kind of got distracted because of the uh, people who appear in the lower part of the screen, so I figured uh, instead of talking over them, and I'd let you hear the whole conversation. So I'm going to place the mimic here, which I did this because it allows me to give a little bit of sideways action here. Oops. So, let's see how that goes for us. Alright, here's the latest from the surface. Tell me quick, would you? It's freezing in here. Don't rush me. Gossip is an art. I love yeah, so. yeah, get on with it. Fine. A goblin told me that there was an attack on Dugandy Castle. What? Earlier. No. So? Dugan is an idiot. He's <laughs> all the time. By just one man. One man? One man. Go on. Oh. Okay, so this one guy. Ah, I forget his name. Blubber or something like that. <laughs> he goes up and demands entrance to the castle. When he's refused, he massacres a bunch of guards on the way in. How many? Oh, well, mm, none, actually. None? Ah, uh, see? I wonder, that conversation would probably change. I know for I... a fact that he stripped the clothes right off a guard to sneak around. Ew. And why are you conversing with goblins anyway? I don't. It was just this one, Traco. Who whittled my patio like for lampshades? Me. Ah, he does nice work. Indeed. <laughs> I like how the Empire has a special relationship with uh, goblins. Uh, hmm. Something to consider here. Uh, ooh, I don't know if I, I probably did this wrong. Well, let's see. I definitely need to. Well. This should be good now. I have to be in this part of the room. Oh, I don't know if this will work out. Well, we'll find out, won't we? So, let's see here. This should open. Nope, I don't have enough room. Okay. Anyway, screw that up completely. Let's just try this again. Uh, down, over, up. I'm going to just skip that conversation. I'm going to use this as leverage to hit this one. All right. Oh boy, that wasn't smart. Burk. And down and over and. All right. Here's the latest from the surface. Tell me quick, would you? It's freezing in here. Don't rush me. Gossip is an art. Yeah, yeah. Get on with it. Fine. A goblin to. Okay. Stop that conversation. All right. So anyway, we are well on our way to victory over here. Hopefully. Um, okay. Let's see. I need to, okay, see how this is an open door? I need to be able to cut this while I'm down in this little region. So this requires just a little bit of planning. Not shouldn't be too awful, all things considered. So let's just see what we can do about it. Um... <coughs> I can't really make, take advantage of that. I did notice this up here, the secret, but... Uh, like, you know what? This, this should be good enough, right? Or something close to good enough? Oh, if I could just... Um, oh, wait, here we go. There we go. And then... Now that I'm in here... And then one step over could be good enough. Perfect. Okay, now I can just deal with these by hand. You got lots up there. Oh, okay, I'm going to check on the secret just to see what it's all about. You know what? This looks terrible. Once again, I'm not going to assess it too much. I'll do these at the end of my series. All right, holding vats. How do I get out of here? There we go. Um. All right. I think I've been made. I've been making some pretty decent progress, all things considered. Until this happened. All right. What's going on here? Looks like I need to. Huh. Oh boy, this is going to take some thought. What's going on? We have just this one thing which opens up everything. Looks like I do not want roaches to go up in here, so I'll have to lure them all out in the meantime. That's a good thing to know. Don't want roaches up in here. That'd be bad, too. However, walking back here is going to produce a bunch, bunch, bunch of roaches and potentially release this. And if the, the mud grows across here, which I kind of wanted to do, all things considered, but I need to be able to get done with my business over here, 
before it does that because I won't be able to cut it across. However, I do need to eventually get it all, so I can't let it grow because of this guy, because it has this target in the way. So I've got a lot of things to consider here. There is the option of adders have the unique property of if they cut the uncuttable part of tar, such as for mud, or sorry, tar stuff, such as for mud here, uh, being the flat side, it um it'll cut through it. So that's one way I could address that problem, but that would require getting this adder to go in there and then the adder would get stuck probably here-ish I don't know what it would do and I'd have to be able to get its head huh all interesting thoughts all very interesting thoughts so let's think about this do I want to kill the queen is it is it ideal to kill the queen oh boy well that didn't work out at all What is the disadvantage to killing the queen here? Is, is there a reason why I would not? Whoops! Why I wouldn't want that? Except maybe the fact that the snake is really frustrating me a lot. There we go. Okay, must think about this. If I go over here, this is a one-way ticket to over the, over that way, but that's it. Another thing is, if I, well, let's just see the problems that come with doing it this way. I'm going to go down here and pray that Mr. Snake does not get enticed by my adventure. All right, I'm going to wait one turn. Okay, so now that takes care of this. They shouldn't, I shouldn't have like a lot more. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, you know what? Eat all those. I don't really care. Not really, really. Um, oh shoot. Well, okay, so I screwed that up because I got a mud baby up in there. I really should have gone back and hit that checkpoint. I have a feeling I'm going to spend my whole video on this room. <laughs> if not the next one, too. It seems like a very complicated puzzle, all things considered. Oops. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. So let's try this again. Oh man. I really should have hit that checkpoint. Really, really should have. And I'm feeling pretty dumb that I didn't. Okay, so I, I have to pretty much. So I'm going to let that pass once and then. So this will block the growth here. Not that I really need that to happen, but I think it'd be not the stupidest thing I could have done. Okay, so there. Ooh, uh, boy, this is annoying. Okay, now if I can just see, I really don't have a choice because now this one's growing up into here. Oh, <sighs> um, and I, yeah, I just, there's like nothing I can do about that. Well, that complicates matters significantly. It's almost as if I need to. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. There now, when it grows, it should only. Okay, so make a baby, and now I can go this. No, I can probably get down back in before that happens. Okay, I don't really care if they go down, right? Yep. Now I should have enough time to before that comes back up. Okay, so now things have gotten wildly out of control. So I'm hoping I can deal with the the mud here before it just... oh jeez. I only have a minute left. Okay, the snake is trying to help. That's very nice of you. Okay. Oops. Now what I would really like to see... I guess mud doesn't go across arrows? That's interesting. I kinda didn't even think about that. So I want the snake to go in here now. like in this way. That would be ideal if I could convince the snake ooh, of that. So let me... I don't need... pretty sure I don't need it to grow to make this happen. Um, in fact, I don't need it to be so long either. Anyway, I only have 15 seconds left. So I'm going to uh, stop here. Anyway, this has been your host, Pearls, and I will see you all next time as we try to convince the snake that this is where it wants to go. Until then, bye bye